guys, this is the Anarchist. Oh, like, subscribe, check out my other videos. This is a uh, top five decks of the 2015 January format. Um, this one I am including um, when neckcloths come out because as of this video they're not out yet but when they are out um, yeah I'm putting them in the order sort of thing number five on the list Satellanites. Satellanites are good they um, because of double honest have a fair like match up now they can like withstand some things it was a, a bit of a mix with this one. It's either Satellanites or Heroes. I went with Satellanites because just the rank fours and stuff, and they're just, I think, a little bit like a faster sort of thing. Okay, um, don't hate me on it, <laughs> but it was that or Heroes. So, um, and number four, Shadows. I only have proxies of these, so yeah, I can't afford them. <laughs> um, El Shadol Construct, um, well, co um, Shadows. Shadows are now the main OTK deck of the format at the moment. Um, they are being more and more aggressive. They, because people like them, then finding new ways to play them. And yeah, it's it's quite nice to see. And yeah, so number four. Now, surprisingly, number three is Burning Abyss. I've put Burning Abyss at number three because I feel that the number two and number one just outrank them a little bit. But Burning Abyss are good. They can have all those chainable traps, everything else. They are super consistent, very good deck. But to me, Clifford just have a few ways to get over them. And we know that Clifford can stand their own against Neckloths, which are number one, by the way. But yeah, Clifford can stand their own against Neckloths um, even after uh, they've come out. So these are probably your best investment to the top top decks at the moment is Clifford's because you know these can stand their own against Neckloths, but or Necros, whatever they're called now. But if um, but with, if you've got the Burning Abyss, nobody knows how these are going to stand up really because the OCG don't have them, and I I feel that they're good. But when it comes to getting everything banished off the field and stuff, the Neckloths are going to be playing cards to just stop back row in its tracks because they don't play any of their own. So that's where Burning Abyss may end up fading out a bit more. And Clifford's number two because they OTK, they can be controlling, they play all the floodgates that hurt these, and they can stand their own. And Neckloths are number one because Neckloths are amazing. They start playing Trishla and just banish everything of yours. They um, quite literally destroy. Completely game-breaking so much that the Japanese ban list has had to annihilate these by hitting like four or five cards sort of thing on them. So yeah. Anyway, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think in the comments below. The Anarchist, signing out.